Welcome to the Basketball Diary. Another interview at Under Armour Association. I'm with DC Blue Devils, Markel Fultz. How are you What's doing? What's up, man? I'm good. Um, got an interesting story, and uh, just want to kind of share that with the world. Um, people recommended me to interview you, and so that's a good note. Yeah. You know, because otherwise you'd be like, uh, don't talk to him because he's kind of boring yeah. or whatever. But um, you played JV last year, yes, right? Yeah. And then this year you played varsity, and pff, yeah. what? What 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 transpired you from JV to varsity like, like that? I mean, at the Matha, and uh, what did you learn, and how did you how did you become this good if you were on varsity? Like, re, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, um, really, I think my work ethic really. Um, I'm just a hard worker, and, and I tried out for varsity my my sophomore year, but I coach told me that it would be better for me to play JV, so I took that as a learning lesson, and I. Went on JV and just dominated the game and became a better leader. Yeah. And, and more versatile, really. Um, yeah. Just playing all positions and uh, and I did little things outside of practice like working my training, and I just kept working each and every day to get better so I can be ready to try out next year and prove coach wrong. So if you played varsity l last year, not this past season, yeah. but instead of that JV season, what did you think would have happened, or is it like maybe on the bench more? Or? Um, yeah, I mean. Maybe I might not play as much and I won't be able to work on my game as much because I'm sitting on the bench watching or yeah. I might be in one position. I wouldn't know how to play the three and the four and be more versatile, so I think it helped. Okay, so now you've been playing at UAA. You've got a great amount of stats over the past this weekend. Um, you came out two and two, mm -hmm. but overall throughout the whole circus season, you've been doing some damage. Yeah. Um, I thought you are like a poor, homeless mm -hmm. D'Angelo Russell. Somewhere hanging around the curb, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. like just a little few and shorter. Um, wh what's up with your game? What kind of game do you have? Um, I'm a very long and linky uh, athletic guard. Yeah. But I also can play the two and the three, and uh, I'm versatile. So I can break my man off the dribble, go dunk on you, or shoot the J. So I'm very, I can play inside out. It's, it doesn't really matter. So you got a, you got a lot of look. Yeah. A whole lot of lists of recruiting. How many schools are there? Uh, 33 offers right now. Don't even name them. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Don't. It's too hard. Don't even name them. How are you going to filter it down? Um, What's the game plan? Game plan is to talk, sit down with my mom and my trainer mm -hmm. and just see uh, if the coach is going to be a good mentor for me and look after me and give me guidelines and push me every day in practice. And also, I want to uh, see who's going to get me to the next level, the NBA. Uh, help me do that the best, and um, just school-wise, I want to see who has the best school. I want to be an accountant, so I want to see if they have uh, a good business school and stuff like that. What uh, would you prefer to start, or I mean, I yes. mean every kid yeah play to start, play every freshman. That's but what if you didn't play? If you didn't play a lot of minutes, how would that impact um, you? I wouldn't say it would hurt me because just like playing JV, um, I would look at it and see. If it's because of the coach doesn't like me, or if I really need to improve my game so I can get on the court, and I just look at little stuff like that, and uh, and I'm always gonna work on my game no matter how high I get, the NBA, college, not playing or playing, I'm always gonna work on my game, so that's always gonna be another factor. As far as working out, um, you talked about what you do on your non-basketball time. It's really basketball time. Yeah. How how does that work out? Um, so. Usually week for me is Monday to Thursday. I have the math, a summer league practice or a regular practice, and then I work out with my trainer or I have AAU practice. And then every Friday they usually give us a day off. So usually on the day off I go to the local rec that's open from like seven to ten, and I'm just in there getting up shots and playing. That's usually what I do on my days off. And Saturday and Sunday I'm even in the gym at least twice a week, twice a day or whenever I can. So. How's your academics? Good. Uh, I'm in. In academic, just as much on the court. So, like, I'll go to the tutor at five, eight o'clock in the morning, and then go to her. Then, like midday, I go to practice, and then come back later to finish up the rest of my work and stuff like that. Will you be taking some visits later this summer? Um, yes. Whenever I get a free time and I pick the uh, right school, I'm gonna try to take an official. But I hope to take some unofficial too. But I already know I have one official uh, to Arizona June six through eighth, I think, so. Okay, that's, okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. 
Bear down? Yeah. Did you see Rondé? Yes. Okay, he was just downstairs. Yeah. You know, his brother just right here in this chair. Wow. We just talked yeah. a little bit. Um, and he was just, he, he went overseas and uh, played a NBA DL last year. Okay. Um, so Arizona's won. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you probably got to, these guys got to probably watch the video and they're going to be like, oh man, say our school. <laughs> say our school. Say this. Yeah. Say this. I still got plenty more choices to choose, and I'm gonna have to choose those. I mean, is there is there a certain school that didn't offer you that you'd be interested in playing for or interested in being recruited for? Uh, a few schools I'm still waiting to uh, get an offer from are Kentucky, North Carolina, and Duke. Uh, those are a couple schools I'm waiting on. Did they ever show any interest? Yes, yeah, so all three of them did. Uh, I took an unofficial to uh, Kentucky a few few uh, weeks back. Um, mm -hmm. Kentucky and Louisville on the same day, same trip and day. So I've been talking with Coach Cal and uh, the assistant coaches. So. How was that? It was great, a great learning experience. He's a legend coach. Um, it was just an honor. What about what about Duke and North Carolina? Um, I've been texting the coaches and uh, they came to a couple open gyms last year. So I've been keeping in contact with them. Very good. So I'm guessing you have a lot to narrow down mm -hmm. and it's going to take a while. Yeah. So I'm guessing Next year, maybe, yeah. You know, not too early, yeah. not too late, yeah. but doing your math, seeing who leaves, who's there, mm -hmm. everything like that lined up. Um, what are you looking forward to in the final session? Great competition in college coaches, showing the talent, and hopefully we win the whole thing. So that's what I'm looking for. Who, who's, who are you enjoy? Uh, guys, you played here. Uh -huh. I'm sure you get amped up for every game, but there's certain games you were, you're probably like, yo, yeah. I'm stepping up. This whole weekend, really, uh, we had a real tough schedule. We played We All One. Yep. Uh, Trayvon Duval and uh, other backcourt was a great Qu matchup. Yeah, Quade. Uh, Quade, yep. Um, next game, we had uh, One Nation, Josh Jackson, uh, no one play in the country. I was ready for that one to get pumped up for that. And then later that day, we had Team Felton with Jalik and all of them. A great talent, and um, the last game we had Terrence Ferguson, and um, that was a great battle, so it was all good. Which game has been the hardest so far throughout the season? This whole weekend was hard, really. Was the hardest one for you yeah, the versus uh, the other two sessions? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you guys got a pretty good record right yeah. now, right? Trying to get into the playoffs yeah. and everything. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Um, no, not really. Not really? Ready to go home. You ready to go sleep. get some sleep? Ice bath, you know. Uh, get some food? Yeah, of course. Got to eat. Happy Memorial Day. Same to you, man. Um, if people want to follow you, where do um, they hit you up? Twitter, you can follow me at Markel Fultz, M-A-R-K-E-L-L-E-F-U-L-T-Z. And that's the same for Instagram. M-A-R-K-E-L-L-E-F-U-L-T-Z. There you go. <laughs> we out. Gotcha.